Can you hear that lot? Noisy bastards. Anyway, good morning. I figured I'd give you an update. So, it's been six months since I purchased the bike and it's just been in for 6,000 mile service. It's not bad in six months, I guess. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on things I've added, how it's been, it's, uh, and how I think it's going. So yeah, thanks for watching. So a few things about the bike, as I said, six months, 6,000 miles, uh, it's just been in for its service, so we'll start with that. 6,000 mile service, it cost me, from JT's, obviously, hello JT's, uh, it cost me £178 for a six month service, which to me is unbelievable, it's such a relief because, as we know, servicing costs especially when you're doing the kind of mileage that I'm doing, is, uh, is unbelievable. So yeah, 6,000 miles, 178 pound, not an issue. It's been unreal, that's great. Um, I've gone to Luxembourg on it, there's a video. Uh, I'll post a link to it. It's uh, with me and my friends, so it's a bit long. It's not really for people to enjoy and watch, I guess you can enjoy it, but you know. It's more for me and my mates, but anyone can have a look. Um, well, there's my Valentino Rossi chair. Uh, yeah, I've been all around Wales. I post those videos as well. Feel free to have a look. Leave a comment, leave a like if you want. Um, tomorrow, I go to Germany. That's right. Tomorrow, this beauty goes to the Black Forest. So we're going to add a few couple of thousand miles on then as well. Um, so a couple of things about the bike. I added side panels as well. Because Yamaha, in their styling review, thought it would be a good idea just to leave the bare frame. I'm not sure if you remember it, but have a look at one of the previous ones. And didn't put any side panels on it. But what they did leave was, I think here, or one of these, is just a threaded hole. With nothing in it couldn't be bothered to put a plastic bung in even just left it as it was so yeah <laughs> so i've done that um what else have i discovered over six thousand it, it is it is the perfect the perfect in-between bike between the aprilia tuono v4 factory that i had before and the standard mt10 just like that one that i had previously because I'm not going to deny it. I am a, I am a complete tart. And this suspension, it is that good that you don't even think about it. It's not even something I now consider when I'm going out on a ride. Is the, you know, it was a bit bumpy and everything. I just ride how I ride, and it's just made things so much easier. Yeah, I love it. Um, tires, choose tires, but then. That's got to be my fault because, again, 6,000 miles. The first set of Bridgestone S22s or whatever, I got a puncher in 600 miles. I was happy to get rid of them, to be honest, because I think I said previously I didn't like them. So I put Road 5s on it because Road 6s were expensive. This is the second set of Road 5s. And this one's done about 1,000 miles. So I'd say I got four, four and a half thousand miles out of the previous rear tires. I'm back on two for one. So that's the second rear tire to the single front tire. That'll be done by the time we get back. So I'm back on two for one, uh, which is good. And yeah, they're great. Uh, what else? It's been perfect, to be perfectly honest. It has been absolutely perfect. There's not, it's not skipped a beat. 
starts first time every time yeah I love it yeah absolutely love it put some nice little decals on it made it a little bit me maybe there's a bit too much s penis going on here <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can have too much s penis apparently yeah there's a bit more s penis going on there so i added these which uh, i think set the bike off i had a i had a clear tank protector on before which to be honest is a bit boring but yeah uh change the number plate if you don't know what you can find out what that means in welsh it'll be interesting so change the number plate and that's it really yeah just some i think it's i think it's finished other than and i can't get i just can't get this out of my head right is i know this is not a, an issue but i'm still thinking about changing this because the black akrapovich for this looks stunning the only thing is it's a grand thousand pound just for the end can and then of course you can't just change the end can you got to get rid of this all this monstrous thing here that all has to go and then it starts sounding like an animal again which is amazing but it's no good especially where i'm going tomorrow yeah the german police won't like me at least they like me anyway so yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick update back in my garage. So yeah, if you're wondering about getting an MT-10, even the standard one, which is an amazing bike, I'd say go for it. But I love it. I absolutely love it. Still a bit fugly though. <laughs>